Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday for today. In today's video, slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to back up your save data and trophies on your modded PlayStation 4 and other important database apps that your PS4 has. God forbid if your PlayStation 4, you know, crashes or corrupts somehow, and you do want to, you know, keep your, you know, important save data and trophy data intact if you had to, you know, get another system or if you were just rebuilding your system's database or something like that. In today's video, we're going to also be using a program called x project and i'll explain a little bit more about that once we get into the prerequisites but with that being out of the way please be sure to follow my latest social medias so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel i'm trying to uh, you know keep making videos every single day or every two or three days so make sure to go ahead and follow my social media so you can see um all of my daily content that i post on my channel and as well if you do want to join my official discord i will have a link in the description down below and as as well as showcased on the screen you can just type it in via in the url bar not only do you meet new people from the hacking and mining scene you can also get the latest hacking guides for your favorite consoles such as the playstation 4 ps3 and also the vita and if you guys need any help or support in terms of like installing homebrew or anything in terms of the exploits for those certain consoles i basically uh, made support sections and my discord that you guys could check out as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form um you know of course this is purely optional but you can feel free to donate via my paypal i'll have that in the link in the description below um any of the money i may receive from my supporters or subscribers will go straight back into my channel or help me buy things such as a better camera a better microphone so i could create you know my best quality content for you guys to see um with all that fun stuff getting out the way we could go ahead and start talking Talking about the things you need and the prerequisites you need for your PlayStation 4 and any of the items I list will be in the download description below so first things first you need a modded PlayStation 4 that is on firmers either 1.76 4.5 4.55 uh, 5.05 and um, I always have to state this in all my videos you can't do this on firmware higher than 5.05 and this is as of right now August 2nd 2019 so maybe two or three years down the line and if another exploit is released on a higher firmware for the PS4 then you could probably Possibly, yeah, you probably could do this, but as of right now, this is only for 5.05 systems and lower. What we're going to be using is X Project 1.5.6 WebKit Exploit for this. Um, if you don't know how to install that, I'll have a link in the description below and also a card that will um showcase on how to install X Project 1.56. Um, it's a uh, basically a very simple install on how to do that, and it doesn't take longer than five to ten minutes. But I do recommend uh watching that video first and then coming back to here so y'all guys could be all on the same page i also uh recommend that y'all guys need a usb stick for this uh method either you can format to fat32 or xfat um usb stick so either or will work for this process um and i recommend that you have a 32 gigabyte or more uh you know usb size and gigabytes for your usb stick or your hard drive due to the fact that uh, depending on how many games and how much save data files uh, some save data files i even know like uh I think Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts 3. I know even you can't play Kingdom Hearts 3 on a uh, jailbroken console since it's 6.20, but I know some of the save uh, data files are like one gig or two gig and some crazy numbers for the save files. And as well, um, depending on how many, uh, how much trophy data you have, um, the files could lar be large in size. So just make sure you have, uh, you know, a 32 gigabyte or more. You should be fine with an eight, but I'm not too sure how many uh, games y'all guys may have installed since it will vary for everyone um with all that being stated out the way we could go ahead and give a special thanks out to default dmb and also lethal 74 for making x project and it's a really good uh webkit exploit host um i recommend that everyone should have this installed onto their ps4s but don't forget um if you need any help you can feel free to join my discord and with that all that fun stuff getting out the way we're gonna go to our playstation 4 and then get this set up so let's go ahead and do that
Alrighty guys, so since we're back onto the PC, what we could do is go ahead and get started on one thing before we go to the PlayStation 4 and, you know, back up our save data and trophies. We gotta verify that our USB of choice is on FAT32 or XFAT. So what I'm gonna do now is just go to my USB. Let me just make it bigger on the screen. Right click over your USB. Just go here, go into properties. Then if you're on XFAT or FAT32, you're good. But if you're on NTFS, what we're gonna have to do is format your hard drive so you can do it for this process. So assuming if you do have, you know, a lot of content on your uh, USB drive, make sure to back it up first before doing this process. But assuming that you basically backed up your stuff, what we need to do now is go ahead and right click over our USB drive, go into format, and then for your capacity, make sure it's the highest one stated. Um, if you're on NTFS, go to XFAT. And then for allocation, excuse me, allocation unit size, just go to default. Um, volume label, you could just name it anything. And then for your quick format, just make sure that it's toggled. And then just go ahead and hit start. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm already on XFAT, but just to showcase the process, um, once it's done formatting, you'll basically get a little window notification on Windows 10 stating that uh, your thing is formatted completed. So if we go back into our folder right here and then go hover over our USB drive, go into property, you can see here that um our thing is on XFAT, our file system. So once you have that all out the way, what we're going to do now is go to the PlayStation 4 and then get this set up via using X Project. So I'll meet you guys back onto the PS4. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation 4 as shown here. As you can see, I haven't run any uh, payload or anything since all of my uh, emulators and stuff has the lock on it. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and run X Project. So here's what I'm going to do for my settings. I already have it basically set up. In my user guide um you could also use the url web link method as well but assuming um you followed what i told you earlier in the card just go ahead and check that out if you want to use x project but what we're going to do is scroll all the way over where it says back up and then what we're going to do is go ahead and back up our um trophies and game saves and also an important databases so this is the one what we're going to do is the db uh, sg backup by stooge so shout out to him this is what we need to do so make sure as of right now once you have x project loaded whether you're using the website version or you're using the uh you know embedded dns that is catched just go ahead and plug in your usb in since we already made sure that it's formatted to either xfat or fat32 just go ahead and hit x and just leave it in so it may take a little while depending on how much stuff but i showcased here you will get a little notification on the screen that states that is basically um archiving all of our user data any of our important databases also it includes all of our um trophies as well so depending on how much uh, trophies and save data you have on your ps4 it may take a while i know for me i have a lot of uh you know trophies and also a uh, save data on my uh, modded playstation 4 just doing to you know testing and playing a lot of uh you know games on my ps4 it may take a little while so it may range up from 10 to 30 minutes it depends on how much games you have on your playstation 4. one thing i do want to state as well this is useful um for a multitude of reasons you could go ahead and just once this process is done back it up to another usb drive or upload your saves on to like a google cloud or whatever just so you can have that backed up god forbid if your ps4 if you sell it and then you buy another one or if you got a new console and you want to transfer over your same data so you know you don't have to restart all over again because many of you guys know losing save data could really hurt but um what i'm going to do now is just pause the commentary here and then i'm just going to go ahead and pause the video so um all of that process could be finished and then i'm we're going to go ahead once the full process is done i'm going to take my usb out put it into my pc and i'm going to showcase um all of the save data and all of the um database stuff from the playstation 4 that just got dumped so meet you guys once this process is fully finished
Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, basically all of my user data and also the database backup has been dumped onto my system, or basically it's been dumped from my PlayStation 4 to my USB as showcased here. So if I go into my user data, scroll to uh, user, you can see that I have my trophy, my system, my also my settings, also all of my fake package game licenses and all that good fun stuff as well. Um, I also have, if I go into system data, I also have my save data for uh, each of my games and my profiles. I only have two profiles on my PlayStation uh, 4. So here's the all the like the database for all that stuff. I'm just going to go through that. So here is the dot database file from here. But if I go back out to my profile, or save data actually, and I go to this one or not system data, excuse me. I know it's somewhere in here, my system data, but here's your activation stuff in the priv folder and all of um, its fine contents. I think uh, with the trophies as well, it will have all your config trophies. So here are all the config. It will include your trophy TRP and also your any file. It'll tell you like the MP com ID for your game. So if I want to go look up uh, any of these trophies in Google, I'll just do this real quick. Um, it will tell me my game name and also, uh, you know, what version it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google, type in the MPCOM ID and Google it. And as you see, um, this is Final Fantasy 7 for the PlayStation 4. But, um, yep, that's one cool thing to showcase. But what you can do now is take your user data and also your uh, database backup and then just, you know, drag and drop this to your uh, USB or another USB or your desktop. And so you basically have all of your files good to go backed up and you won't have to worry, you know, on doing this all the time. I would suggest if you do use your PlayStation 4 uh, or your modded PS4 a lot and you do earn a lot of trophies, do this like every two or three months. Um, you know, just update your database, drag it onto your PC so you, you know, never have to worry about losing your data on your PlayStation 4. With that being said, I hope you guys did learn something in this video for today. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button as well. But with all that being out the way, my name is Nagato. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm signing out. Peace.